What's up everyone, what I have here is the Scorpion SJ3 MK2 glove. Now that name is packing a lot of heat, so let's just cut the chase and get into it. I picked these bad boys up recently as an alternative to my Alpine Stars Belize gloves. I wanted something more comfortable for the summer months with solid protection. I've been a fan of the Scorpion brand for years and they're not considered top shelf like the Dionysus of the world, but they've always punched above their weight class in my opinion and have really opened their doors to new riders. This is another perfect example of that. I picked these up for 70 bucks, so let's see what I'm getting for that hard earned cash. For starters, the entire glove is constructed using high quality goat leather. It's light, durable and provides instant comfort right out of the box. It's got TPU finger protectors, carbon fiber reinforced knuckle protectors, embossed palm grip, pre-curved palm and fingers, dual closure gauntlet with wrist protection, perforated leather for breathability, and of course, touchscreen compatible index fingers. Now that's a lot of features on paper, man, but how does it actually feel on a ride? To keep it short, it feels amazing. Right here, it's simply my second time wearing the gloves, but it goes on real easy and truly is ready to go out the box in terms of comfort. There's actually padding beneath the knuckle protectors and the entire piece kind of floats above your knuckles. Uh, what I mean is it doesn't tighten up when you squeeze your fist together. If any of y'all got gloves already, you know what I mean by this. Uh, if you have TPU, like hard TPU right above the knuckles, a lot of times there's not flex material built in or it's not floating. So when you just squeeze your fist in, knuckle protectors get really tight against your hand and that can be a pretty uncomfortable feeling. So they've resolved that issue with their design here. It's not overly padded in the palms either. So you'll get tactile feedback from the handlebars and throttle. Just a better sense of control. I put about 250 miles or so on this thing, and honestly, I'm feeling pretty good about this purchase. Now, I'm not trying to knock on the more premium brands here, but let's be real. They do offer more protection, and they do have more bells and whistles. But for the everyday rider commuting or weekend rides through the canyons, you really can't go wrong with these. So if you're a new rider or a seasoned one, definitely consider picking up a pair for yourself. And if you like this video, hit your boy up with a thumbs up, and as always, happy shopping and ride safe, y'all. Thank you.